Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have big, big news, a bunch of it. So first things first, let's talk about real quick, just real quick as it's been beaten to death around the internet, but uh, per high demand, we're going to talk about the new California uh, rules on emissions and all of that and modification of your vehicle. So this, I want to say, is not like a new thing, but what it is now is being law enforced. And if you have modified your vehicle in any way, if it's greater than like, I think, 1975, something like that, um, if you've messed with the exhaust or any of that, you can actually be fined up to $1,000 and more because there's legal fees and all that stuff that goes along with it. So that is a big deal. So what California is really trying to do is cut down on like smog emissions and stuff like that. And they're really trying to force uh, everybody to, I guess, maybe drive a Prius. I don't know. Electric cars, hybrids and all that stuff. That stuff is coming to the future. And Ford is actually working on a hybrid with the Mustang, and I think it's a good thing. So I don't hate hybrids. I actually support the idea, so long as we don't lose that that V8 rumble and we can still modify them the way that we do as car people. But for California, we all know that California is basically like a whole nother country. Okay, let's just be honest. So they have a lot of crazy rules and stuff like that. This, this new one that they have modified, um, so to speak, basically brings law enforcement into the picture and basically what's happening is if you have touched your vehicle in any way shape or form uh, so that it breaks 95 decibels on a sound meter you can basically have your car towed impounded uh, all of that and you're going to be forced to pay a fine so again this is nothing new it's been around for a while um, it just really sucks. And I think that they're trying to crack down on smog emissions and also street racing. But the stupid thing is, honestly, is, you know, whether your car is modded or not, people are going to street race. My fastest speeding ticket ever was back in high school with like a 2000, I don't know, uh, Toyota Tercel. It was a four speed manual. And that was my highest speeding ticket. It was like 117 mile an hour or something like that. And uh, anyway, the, the police officer cut me a break and brought that speed down, so it was good. But so basically, it's like it's gonna solve nothing. I'm so thankful I don't live in California. I mean, I'm sure it's a nice place I've never been and really don't have a desire to go unless it's for some kind of car event. With all these emission laws and ex exhaust laws and stuff like that, it's gonna make things a little bit difficult, I would imagine. Is this gonna change the way that uh, auto manufacturers? gear their cars and stuff like that towards for, for California emissions? I don't know. So speaking of that, this actually impacts more than just the exhaust, okay? Um, if you get stopped for something like this, a police officer is gonna have every right to go around the vehicle and do a quick walk around and check for anything else that's illegal. So if you are heavily modded, uh, you can be fined for that stuff as well. And they can just start tacking on uh, you know, penalties and start uh, you know, adding to the charges and all that stuff. So you're talking about money, right? So that price is gonna go up. So California is screwed. Is this gonna spread to other states? Uh, Lord, I hope not, but I don't think that it will. I think that uh, everybody else is pretty much gonna be safe. Anyway, so I'm in Tennessee, I think that we're good. I don't even have emissions here. We don't have like inspections or anything where I live, so I am good to go. Anyway, we're done talking about that, but I do wanna give you my answer to how I actually feel deep down inside about this whole thing. So let's get started with that. I'm gonna spin the camera. I got something on the floor over here we're gonna show you. Real quick, before we actually show you what I have over here, <laughs> We're gonna walk around the car real fast. So we have a 2019 Mustang GT, it's loaded. You guys know that if you watch the channel. If you don't, I highly encourage that you subscribe because what I'm about to show you is basically gonna give you every single reason to do that. I also wanna say that today, we had hit 11,000 subscribers on the channel. That is amazing. Thank you guys so very much. I really do honestly hope that you continue to subscribe, watch the videos because things are about to get crazy. And that is what this is about right here. So <laughs> we have a bunch of goodies. It's like a late Christmas. I told you that 2019 was gonna be the start of something nuts with this car. And inside of this box is more of that. So we just did the JLT intake. We did the tune from Rob Shoemaker and Palm Beach Dino, all those guys. And this is what it's about. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open all this stuff up and we're gonna show you exactly what is in all of this. All right, so here we go. I am so, so, so excited. We're gonna start with the small one first because the big one should be last, right? That's how you do it on Christmas. You want the big surprise at the last. Oh man. I haven't been 
been this excited in a while. All right, so there it is. Inside of this one package, we have one decal. I'm totally kidding. Always good to have decals. Got a bunch of padding and we have some stuff. All right, so my camera died on me, but we have a three inch X pipe. This is, of course, is double helix X, X pipe. Double helix X pipe, I <laughs> said that right. And uh, you guys know that have a CJ Pony Parts X pipe, single X pipe, with the active exhaust right now on that car. But what this also comes with is a bunch of these guys, these clamps. So what this kind of does is it's going to go back here somewhere, or back here on this side, and this one's going to go on that side there. And you can run this with headers, or you can just run the X pipe by itself with your with your active exhaust, with your regular exhaust, any of that. And uh, you're going to have to cut and clamp, but uh, you can run a three inch X, they're double X, with your factory stuff if you want to. It's a factory connect option with these guys here, and then also we're going to have to cut. Now I do have the active exhaust on that car, and we're going to run this that that axle back, if you will, because we're going to cut it all the way back to the axles almost with this. And I think it's going to sound pretty close, but maybe a little louder because it's a three inch system. But uh, let's get to the big box. So excited! This is awesome. Don't need scissors for this guy. I don't think this is a big present. Boxes inside of boxes, we'll get to that. But here we go. Oh man. I talked about the packaging and everything, but it comes full of stuff. So that way it's not gonna get banged up. The boxes are completely fine. Nothing was banged up. So good job on FedEx for the delivery there. But this is like the first set of headers that I've ever bought that come bubble wrapped like this. A lot of times they just put them in the boxes with all this. And I've had Texas Speed in the past and they are a phenomenal header uh, for, for the money. And I've, I would directly compare this honestly with American Racing. The welds are pretty good. Um, I've had stainless works in the past. But I've never had Corsa and I wanted to do something different this time. So I told you guys when we bought this car that we were going to do quite a bit of things different than the 2018 when I had it. You know, we have a whole different transmission. We are eventually going to do different wheels and we're doing different body work and just simple little things that really class up the vehicle. Um, but different tuner. So we, we've done everything different all the way down to like the end gauge. I had the SAT before and we have the end gauge on this guy here and it's, it's better. It's just better doing slightly different suspension, all that. But anyway, let's get back to this guy here. So I'm going to cut all of this stuff out and we're going to take a look at the craftsmanship because Corsa is, at the end of the day, known for fit, finish, and quality above anything else. But let's go ahead and take a peek at this. So this is your double helix here and you can see that the welds are just perfect. You get in here, you got the name, you got the welds there, but Everything is perfect. I am so excited. This is going to just massively wake up this car. And then we're also going to do E85 very soon. Enough talking. Let's unbox this thing. Or I'm sorry, just cut the bubble wrap off. And then I'm going to pop it. I'm going to jump all over it like a little kid because I'm excited. Okay, dokey. Here we go. Wow. This looks really good. Let me get it in the sunlight a little bit. Okay, I see something different than some of the other guys. That's where the quality comes in. Let's go take it sunlight, take a look at it. All right. So Corsa is known for fit, finish, and quality. And uh, I have never seen Corsa headers before for the Mustang or any other vehicle really. But I've just got experience with some of the other brands, but I can tell you already that this is a little bit different. So here's your welds there. They look fine. The header. This has a different finish uh, compared to some of the others. It's not chrome or anything. It's just very highly polished and something that you would expect from Forza. So you've got the welds there. And here is 
inside. Let's see if we can get a good look. Let's get some sunlight. There you go. So there is the inside there. It's very smooth. I've seen some of these in the past where this is kind of just tacked in there and they've welded it all together and it's just a mess. But right to the edge and then as it goes in, it's just it's just smooth all the way down. That is great. This is a one and seventh eighth header as well. I'm really trying to just showcase the welds and the quality because there's not a lot of content on YouTube about the course of headers with the new Mustang. This is a catless system as well. And here's the important piece. Let's go down and look. Hopefully this is coming up on camera. There you go. So just looking at this, uh, very, very clean job. I've seen inside of here on some of the other headers where it is a complete hot garbage mess. There we go. There's your picture. So look how clean that is. That looks perfect. So I'm really curious to know how these are going to fit inside of the engine bay and this guy. Uh, I've got experience with the other brands I said, but the Corsa hopefully should be about the same. It is definitely a long header, but again, we go down here. Here's all our connection pieces. So these have your fitments for your O2s all around. You got one that's on the side there, and then you got one here, so you can run your O2 sensors no problem. And then you got your catalyst lead pipes. And uh, my God, this is going to be incredibly loud. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm not, not necessarily excited for the install, but you guys know that that's going to come. I'm going to show you in depth how to step by step, make it real professional. But this is a big unboxing. But this is, oh, we still got one more to open. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Still one handed. All right, we have our instructions there. And oh, good, glad I opened this. Okay, here's something important. So, before when you used to order like long tubes and stuff, they didn't come with the right O2 extensions. And this is the flat plug for the, uh, the 1819 specific cars. So, that is good. It's going to come with all the right stuff. Looks like there's definitely another sticker in there. And there is some zip ties and your. Uh, what am I looking for? Gaskets. There you go. So it just has the one extension. That's probably all that we need. If memory serves me correct, there's your new header bolts. Um, and then the way that these actually hook up, they use like a gasket by the edge of the header there, the way that they connect. So it's a little different. So again, guys, this is my answer to the new California law. We are going to make this car faster. So we don't live in California, so we're going to make it faster and a whole lot louder. It's a double X pipe, <laughs> catless headers. We're going to run E85 at it. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be so much faster, so much faster. But if you guys ever needed a reason to sub to the channel, this is it, 2019. We are here. It's been an incredible month. Thank you guys so much for 11,000 subscribers. I hope that we continue to grow and just turn this channel into something enormously awesome and big. And if you haven't seen any of my other content, definitely explore the channel. I can't say that enough. Uh, we've been doing a lot of cool stuff with this over the past year or so. All right, thanks guys. That is gonna wrap up this video. I'm gonna clean up my mess and then, uh, yeah, definitely stick around. Uh, the install video and all of that is gonna be coming very very soon so this is a course of sponsorship so you better believe we're going to make a lot of content with this which is cool because there's not a lot of information with the corsa out there for the 1819 mustang especially when you have the active exhaust so we're going to explore a couple of different things and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it thank you so much corsa i know you're watching and uh big big shout out to you guys the quality so far from just looking at it looks amazing you guys are awesome i'll see you guys in the next video stay safe on the road and uh i guess i'm gonna go ahead and start tearing down the car so be on the lookout for that video i'll see you later i guess i'll finish cleaning up now but here we go big things 
I told you we were going to do cool stuff with this car. And this is the start of it.